So yeah. Pete, thanks for joining us on yeah, Super thanks. User TV. I wonder if you can start by telling us a little bit about the UX team and what does it do in the OpenStack community? Sure, so uh, the UX team actually provides the community with insight to their users. And I think a big part of, you know, so we, as you know, we've only really been a project for about nine months. And I think a big part of our effort right now is, is really around education. So if I were to go to you and I say, you know, what's user experience? You would think, you know, they're the people who create the pretty pictures, right? And that's not entirely accurate. It's really an umbrella term for people that provide user experience design, sure. But information architecture and um, information architecture and, and frankly research, which is mostly what we do now for the community. Um, our big push this year is actually with consistency because as you remember from the years of survey, that was something that really was floated a lot by a lot of operators. You know, we feel like the projects aren't being consistent. And so what we're hoping to do is to provide the tools to help facilitate that consistency. Well, on Sunday you shared with the board of directors for OpenStack a lot of projects that the user experience team is working on. Can sure. you tell us about a few of them? Yeah, absolutely. So I think our big hitter, if you will, right now are the personas. And again, that's a great story because it helps build consistency because if nothing else, we need a common vernacular in how we talk about our customers across all of the projects. And I think the thing that's really interesting about that is we don't just talk about users, but we talk about users in context of sort of their work environments or the places they work. Because we maintain that your role, if you're working for a service provider, is significantly different than it would with an enterprise. Um, and people are extremely receptive of the personas. They're sort of acknowledgement, we should probably agree on our users. And I, you know, one of the things I also want to do is make sure, you know, that we never refer to a user in the generic ever again in the community, because there is no, no such thing. Can you give me an example of something that may have surprised you in your research and something that you found? That surprised me? Yeah. I would say in terms of common themes, um, Documentation and help has been floated a lot. And almost literally every study we do, it comes up as an issue. And I want to be a little bit careful because, you know, as you know, we both have a lot of friends in documentation, and I think they're doing an amazing job. So when I say, I really refer to help, and that could take different forms. It may not be something in a document. You know, maybe it's a knowledge base. You know, maybe it's a mentor program. But you know, those issues, in our opinion, need to be addressed. The other thing, too, that we find is interesting is it's not, it's not sort of the beginning stuff when you're just starting to adopt OpenStack. It, it's really for kind of the advanced users that really need to do the deep dives, and that's where it feels like it drops off a little bit. Now, you and I have worked a lot uh, together on yeah. uh, helping to find new users who are willing to participate in your projects. Yeah. And I understand that you have been running some studies here at the summit. Yeah. Tell us about that and tell us how it's going. So I've got a couple of answers, or a couple of things I want to talk about. I think the first thing is I really want to reinforce how utterly gracious a foundation has been in working with us, and you in particular. I think, um, as you know, as we both know, there was a little bit of respondent fatigue, if you will, because of all the invitations that were being sent out. And I think we're to a point of goodness where there's a lot less of it and it's a lot more focused. So very, very excited about that. So at the summit, um, and again, in collaboration with the foundation, we were given a space for the entire day yesterday, Wednesday. And uh, the project was intended, um, we were actually focused specifically on the OpenStack client. Again, we like that thing because it drives consistency across projects. And what we did is we had, I think the sample was about 10 people. Each one came in individually for an hour. And we took them through a series of tasks um, on the OpenStack client. And as they did that, they were asked to kind of rate that experience. And we had people there that were note takers, obviously kind of recording what their reactions were and that sort of thing. And it was for us, it was a big win. The one thing I have to say is we're worried because people get busy at these summits. 
And we had a 95% show rate. It, almost everybody showed up, so excited. That's fantastic. So one of the questions we asked on the user survey was whether people were willing to participate in UX testing. Some of the folks that are watching this right now mm -hmm. may or may not have identified that they want to be testers or contribute to your project. How can they best get involved and help you? Sure. So, and again, to kind of go back, we're, we're starting to send out more focused invitations. So I think one of the big things is, you know, when that user survey comes out, uh, there's a little checkbox in there that says, do you want to participate in, in studies? And please, please, please check that. I think the other thing as well is you should feel comfortable reaching out to me. I'm on RSC, um, it's P-I-E-T, and tell me that you want to be part of these studies and we'll make sure you get into that list. Thanks so much for coming to talk to us about the UX team. Yeah, thank you, Heidi.